All right, guys. Gonna try this voiceover thing. So here's me benching 275 on flat bench. I had done uh, two sets before this. The first set was um, 11 reps. I can't remember the second set, and here's the third set. I had my buddy spotting me, and he's here. He's just helping me with assisted reps. Um, I probably should have just lightened the weight, but it was feeling really good. So, And this is just for my fourth set of flat bench. I decided to stick with 225, and... Um, just rep it out. I think it could only get 10, barely. So, <clears throat> I don't, you, you guys really won't ever see me doing flat bench, but it felt good. So, I still think it's important to work the lower chest. But again, like I've said before, my previous videos, I'm just doing mostly incline has really shaped my chest into what I want it to look like, you know, into a better, like a fuller look instead of just sticking straight out. Because when I was powerlifting and just doing flat, you kind of, your chest just goes outward. Or for me, it just grew straight outward and just looked weird. And But now that I've inclined, it's shaped it a little bit better. I mean, here's me doing flies. I did three or four sets here. Y'all can see. Um... This felt good. I think I should have lightened the weight, but it still felt like a crazy burn, but I, de I think I definitely want to incorporate more, you know, like concentrated pause reps into my, uh, into my sets because I, I do always feel like a really good pump and a good burn, but you know when you just want to rep them out. So here, I would say I need to drop my shoulders a little bit more. But again, like I really am feeling my chest, and that's really all that matters. So if you are a new person to the gym and have an issue with chest flies or just chest in general and you only feel your shoulders, really make sure you're dropping those shoulders poke up your chest as far as you can on a pressing movement or even flies and just try to squeeze your chest. It's going to be difficult at first, but you know, you'll get there. Um, so here's me doing these sets. I think I kind of explained it last time. So it's just like, I picked a, the heaviest weight I could do for like six to eight reps. And then I dropped it down 40 pounds and just tried to do as many reps as possible. And once you get down to, like, 40 pounds or whatever, you should be barely able to move it. And that's, I think, what I got to here. It's crazy because you feel like you can do a million reps, but uh, you'll find that that is not the case. That is definitely not the case. So... <clears throat> um. I think I did two sets here. These sets take a little longer than normal just because of, you know, how many – it's like a super set kind of. Uh, so I must have done – yeah, I think it was four on flies and four on flat and then two here it's for a total of ten sets. Chest always gets pumped like crazy fast, so I decided to just do ten rep or ten sets. Um Again, like each body part or, body, you know, muscle group is different. Like you may have to do more sets than you would for, for biceps than you would for triceps or, you know, vice versa. But just go until you really feel a good pump. I like to go until I get a really good pump and then do a set or two more. It may be unnecessary, but I like the way it feels. So, um, yeah. So here we come to the end of the video, just wrapping it out.